Hi everyone and welcome back. So now we can just see the demo of whatever we have done in the previous video. Uh, okay, so these are the queries we have written. I will just do a quick recap. Users, posts and comments. Okay, and additional resolvers we have written for the post, comments and the users. Because whenever you are getting the users right, you can also get the comments and the posts written by the user. So we can just do this. Uh, let's say this particular one. Here in, in the posts, we are also getting the author ID. Uh, we can also get the name. We can also get the age. Right, all these arguments we can pass and everything is coming. So this is nice, right? With the post information, we are also getting the user information like the author information. And currently we are not dealing with the database. It's just a random data has some uh, matching IDs like uh, post has the author IDs, which is same as the user ID. Comment has the author ID, which is same as the user ID. Now uh, let's go to the documentation. We will try another query. Let's see the list of users. And this is important because we can do a lot of things with the user. Add query. We are not passing any query for now. And we can get the posts and we can get the comments. In the comments, we can get the what all information is there. Title. Okay, ID is there. In the posts, we can get the ID. Uh, we have what other parameter we have? Title. And we can hit this. And we are getting the, the exact information, the user and the posts written by the user and the comments. Same with another user, right? So this is how we are actually able to aggregate the data. Okay, user data aggregation with the posts and comments, uh, author information with the comments and the users, right? So what we have done is it's a simple example and this is how it is working. I hope this is properly visible on my screen. Till now we are writing only queries. Now we will make a small change because we are accepting this query argument, right? So let's say what if user is passing some query, then we have to do the filter. And I can just do this const uh, search user, let's say. And how we are getting this? We are getting search user from argument dot query argument dot query dot uh, argument dot query dot title I mean argument dot query is the query is enough I think and we can just do to lower case so we can do a original compare okay and we can do return users dot filter let's say because we want to return only those users which are matching with the search user keyword okay and we can just do an includes operation here we can return okay this is filter so we can return user let's put this user instead of i for more readability user dot name dot two lower string dot two lower case if this includes if this includes the another search user that means we have to return this filter user right same kind of scenario we can put for the posts if this query is not there, then return all the posts. But if query you are passing some search key, some title or something, here we can talk about uh, the title instead of here posts. This is also users. We are doing some typos here. This is users. This is user. And this is we are doing the filter on the posts list. This is a single post and we are doing filter based on the title and we are just comparing it with the search post. If it is there then return all the posts which are matching with this criteria. 
okay this is uh, plain and simple now and this should work okay now you can also pass the argument while fetching the list of users fetching the list of posts and based on that you can do the filter this here we are just doing array dot filter based on the title and based on the name criteria okay so this is simple with the posts and comments and it should just improve our results now this is the documentation let's clear this out now we can add the query let me just run this if we are getting the data okay we are getting the data that is good we can get the id and we can also get the id okay that's it it's plain and simple here we are passing the query same same way we can actually execute the post query right so this is how you can pass the argument and we can get this passed argument using the argument object which we are passing here argument dot query it will give us whatever you are passing there and based on that we can do the filter we can like like you are returning the list of users here you can pass the id then you can do argument dot id it's same as we use express and there we pass the query parameter route parameter or data inside a body all these things here we are going to get from the argument object in the express we were we were getting it from the request dot body body request dot params request dot query different ways here everything is the argument object whatever you are passing okay this is graphql that was rest apis okay so this is all about this demo now in the next video we will extend this a little bit